The plants obtain minerals and nutrients from the soil which are dissolved in water. They absorb water with the help of roots. To absorb more water from the roots, there has to be loss of water from the plant. This loss of water in the form of water vapor from the aerial parts of the plants is known as transpiration. Transpiration is brought about by stomata of leaves. Transpiration is followed by translocation. Translocation is a process through which food and absorbed minerals are transported to each and every cell of the plant. These processes occur when there is enough quantity of water with dissolved minerals in the soil where the plant is growing. Similarly, in animals, many processes occur simultaneously. For example, man sees food, picks it up and puts it into the mouth. The food is then digested by the digestive system. Digested food is absorbed by the blood and transported to different organs by the circulatory system. Undigested food is excreted through the process of excretion. From these two examples, we came to know that to complete the process successfully, the coordination between the organs and organ systems is necessary. If there is a lack of coordination in organs and organ systems, then the desired process will remain incomplete. Therefore, these systems should be effectively controlled and coordinated. This will create a relatively constant environmental condition within any organism. Such a steady state maintained in the body by different systems is called homeostasis. Homeostasis is essential for optimal functioning of an organism and also for perfect coordination between external environment and internal environment.